Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Well, it's Friday, which means I've handed over the reins to the Bomb Bomb buddies over on Patreon for them to vote me in a map, and it's this one. It's a creator request of, requested via the uh, the wonderful technology that is Facebook. Now, the link to my Facebook is in the description down below, and it'll be popping up on the screen during the show, so watch out for that one. What can I tell you about the map? Well, it's it's a good map. It's got fantasy vibes to it. It's by a creator we've done twice in the past, back in episodes 378, all that time ago, and 607, where they got 12 and then 11 stars. And today's map is going to be in the same kind of bracket, so you can expect a good show. But before we have a good show, I need to see a good show from you. That's right, giving me a good show really does support the channel. <laughs> Sounds so bad, doesn't it? <laughs> and also we go a little bit more every single day. Please don't show me it. Put it away. <laughs> Today's map is Euroland by MPS. Okay, so in the uh, in the description, it does give you the fantasy background story to this. I do like to have a little bit of a read of a fantasy background as well. Don't want it too, too long, but it was fine. Uh, there's your start square. Here's your terrain heights. Lots of flat buildable land with hills in the distance. So that's all good for a standard, standard city. And then uh, you've got your resources that look like that. The oil down on the coast and the ore in the hills and stuff. It's all good. And even the fields have been painted with fertile. Uh, you'll be needing a mass transit and park life for this map and there is a medium list of things to subscribe to it does fall technically into the heavy category but uh it's not that bad really it's mostly it's mostly all those rocks and the rocks aren't too intensive and we'll scroll to the bottom there you go once you've read all that you can uh, click on play and the map will work. be fine be good right we're off okay what have we got well we start off with a one of my favorite intersection of the entire map this one it really does well first of all it looks great uh smooth not overly complicated and it does look like it's been tooled into the terrain see the way the rocks work on either side it does look like it's been dug out to make it work and i kind of like that i think that's full credit and the the merging of the lanes the four lanes into four lanes and so forth is all very slick indeed now we've got a perfect little bridge here. I'm going to point this one out to show you that little bridges can be perfect as well. Uh, in fact, we'll see a bridge later on, which will put this one to shame. Actually, it won't put this one. This one will put that one to shame. Anyway, ignoring that, I just want to show you. <laughs> I want to show you this brook and the how how lush it looks. Doesn't that look lush? I just want to show you that because that that's really nice. <laughs> yes, the whole saying is that little bridge that little bridge there'll be one later on that could be like that one and it just gets like a uh, so full of itself it says i can be a big bridge now and it makes itself into a big bridge where it really doesn't need to be but uh we'll get to that in a minute we'll be, we'll be fine it'll be fine it's not that it's a bad bridge it's just i think it's a poor choice of bridge uh okay heading down to our next intersection this isn't the start square we've got a little way to go yet before we can get to start square but this one is uh, again really nice it's not in the heaviest part of the city so although it doesn't look like it would handle an awful lot of traffic without having some backlog i don't feel that this is an area that would have an awful lot of traffic going through it but maybe it would if you're going to have a lot of traffic going through there you might want to upgrade it and again the lane splitting and lane merging there is very nice as well two and one into three and three into one and two very slick indeed now here's this pretentious bridge i was uh, talking about it has another problem as well but i just wanted to start off by saying i mean first of all it's very nice it's very nice the ramps are great the uh, the roads come together really nicely and it's perfect basically you can't fault it apart from the amount of space it has to cover i mean it's huge what with the ramps it's mammoth and could be just a small little dainty like the one we just saw a minute ago could be fine that's not the only problem with that bridge i'm gonna there's a bridge later on that has a similar problem similar not exactly the same but um a similar problem and we'll talk more about that problem at that one and then you can obviously wind back the video look at this one and see how it's similar but different 
and how my solution would be different for that one. Uh, or you can come up with your own solution and stick it in the comments, because that's what the comments are for. Really slick bendy bridge, very nicely done, perfectly done. I've got no complaints about that at all. We've skipped past, past it like it was like it didn't matter, but it really does. That, that bridge was very perfect as well. And again, a lovely little symbol intersection there. Nothing to moan about with this one. Very simple, does the job, sees the traffic heading towards Start Square territory. Now we're into an industrial kind of area with the raised highway, which is quite nice as well. Nicely done with the, the way the terrain has worked. The roundabout there should see traffic moving quite smoothly. And we have got, yes, everybody's favourite four factories. <laughs> oh, the words just evolve, don't they? Uh, yes, it, we'll come back and have a look at this area later because if there's a part of the map I don't like, it's that one. Now this is the next bridge. Look, three lanes down into two lanes that's the same as the other bridge well i feel what would work here make this work nicely would be a toll booth it would slow the traffic down it would give it a reason to switch between three and two lanes because it is all elevated there is absolutely no reason for it to switch from three lanes down to two apart from to make it fit the custom asset and for me that's not a good enough reason okay so we've got yeah if we have a toll booth on each end that would give it a reason to switch and I'd be okay with that. Anyways, the sirens go whizzing past my window. Thank you very much, sirens. Uh, we'll head down towards the Start Square intersection, which, again, is perfectly lovely. All these intersections are perfectly lovely. Some more lovely than other, others. This one's really, really aesthetically pleasing. I like that a lot. I'm thinking not a big city build here, but lots of large towns would work really nicely on this map. Down into Start Square, we have the, the Start Square branch intersection, I guess, which has a little decorated roundabout on the end, which is all good. And also, sitting over here, we have today's assets of the day. Uh, it's a pack. It's the Korean Villa Pack by Yogurt. And I just love these. I just absolutely adore these. I think you could use these in actually pretty much any city build because they'd work really well. Also on the waterfront, Maybe buy a key would look amazing. Anyways, so the Korean Villa Pack by uh, Yogurt there. And factoids because factoids. Now, on this day in 1837, February the 7th, 1837, Florence Nightingale, you've heard of her, good, claimed that she had a vision of God. God told her, told her, not hold her, <laughs> God told her to renounce her rich social background and take up a mission in life. A few years later, she took up nursing. Good old Florence Nightingale, bless her. Uh, uh, basically, um, yeah, we should all look up to her. She's really a, yeah, a good, a good dudette, <laughs> and uh, did a, did an awful lot where she didn't really need to because of her social background. Anyway, um, Korean Villa Pack. There, look at those. Look at those, they're, they're just right. Absolutely just right. Yogurt, you have surpassed yourself. And that is today's asset pack of the day. We head back, 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 back to the highways. We're pretty much done with the highways. Uh, we covered most of them, like 90% of what there is, I guess. Um, and uh, then we'll have a look at the rail. Now, I do have a problem with the rail, and it's going to be a little quiz for you. A little quiz and you'll get a bit of time to think about it you can cheat of course and skip to the second half of the show before popping down your answer again all very nice off to the fog there but uh, I have one issue with the rail I'm not going to tell you what it is until the second half of the show I'm going to talk about how great it is okay right so first of all no real major elevation changes very tidy um, we've got one or two nice little feature areas on here as well. I'm going to point these out as we get to them, like coming down to the farmlands. And we have it uh, also the um, the fertile painted either side. So we have a, a change of the color there. Then we have the farmlands, which again, the, the fertile is painted either side. And we've got the line of trees on each side. It looks very nice indeed. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what this is until later. So yeah, stick it in the comments if you spot it. Okay. It's uh, It's subtle. It's very subtle, especially the way that we'll be looking at it. Uh, we, we'll just carry along long, alongside the docks. So this is quite nice that we've got access to the docks and the rails, so you can get your um, get your people 
And yes, we could have a second, we could have a, a, a freight line and a passenger line. That could be one of the things I could be moaning about. It's not actually on this occasion, heading off into the forests here. Um, but yes, having, having a freight line and a passenger line side by side would be nice, but I don't feel that that's the problem here. And then uh, if we come back through the forests over here, uh, then we've got a really nice feature tunnel. This is, this is excellent work, by the way. This next bit, uh, the uh, just look at the way it's been dug out, dug out, and we've got all of these these rocks going on here. I mean, possibly implausible the amount of rocks that we've got going on there, but uh, I still feel it's a nice bit of feature detailing, and it is a fantasy map, so we can allow for a little bit of a um, little bit of creativity. Anyway, we head off now towards the fog. Which means we'll do the intermission, we'll come back, we'll do the shipping, we'll do the water flow, and then I'll tell you what's up with the rail. See you on the other side. Fed up with vanilla or ploppable parking lots in your city? Wondering what Bondi Dea's parking lots roads is all about? Then you need Bon Bon B's parking lots tutorial. Click the information button below. And back to Euroland by MPS and the shipping routes. We have a shipping route that comes in from the ocean and goes up the river, which makes all the sense in the world, of course. Um, bends around here, avoids the rocks there, gets a little bit close to the rocks here. Again, it's not really a problem, but I feel that you probably move the shipping route across a little bit or move the rocks in real life. Not a problem. And uh, then up into uh, the harbour area there. All very tidy. Very nice indeed. Water flow, we have rivers. We actually have a few rivers. And uh, they are all flowing strongly. Um, some stronger than others, actually. But uh, the main river, main river is excellent. You'll have no problems with that. And then we've got these side rivers, which um, just add... These are more for aesthetics, I feel, actually. Especially these little connector bits. I feel that they would work, oh, we'll, we'll look at those in glorious Technicolor in a minute, but I feel that they would work for a specific part of the city. But that's all nice. So there we go, strong rivers. So anyway, the map as a whole, it's, um, it's, it's a nice layout, lots of fun things going on, and here's your rail. Okay, did you spot what was wrong with the rail? In my mind. Let me come across here, now watch the route. We come up here, we go around and through that hill, okay cutting through the hill then we come back down to the river and then it goes off and back out again now for me if we'd had this tunnel entrance exit here pointing out in this kind of direction we could have followed the uh the, the actual shoreline across and we would have cut off that whole corner another alternative of course would be to continue up this way and to have carried carried on the cutting and connected up via that way of course it would have avoided the harbor area but um, that would be the other option. So that was the answer to my little, uh, my little, br my br little brain spam going on there. Lots of lovely rock work around the map, and some really nicely packed, drawn out, um, fertile areas turned into fields, which is a positive. Come on, if if fields are painted, they must be fertile, yeah. <laughs> like these, like these a lot. And um, yes, we have got, I mean, we've even got what well, we've got one, two, three, five on the other side, 10 already in place. We've got it all, um, you know, uh, fenced off. That's the word, fenced, fenced off for secur security and safety. And we have got the essential light outside, blue. Blue on the left and orange on the right. Unless you're leaving, in which case it's orange on the left and blue on the right. And uh, anybody who knows how to wire a plug will know that uh, there's letters in that that work. Yeah, blue, left, orange, right? Yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> anyway, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yes, this river, I, I believe in that. I'm, I'm less believing these, but again, fantasy land. But I feel these will work really well in like a su suburban kind of area, little little brooks, whatever, running through the uh, little parts of your, your light residential city. I think that would work very nicely indeed. It may be like a park area. Over here, now this 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 is great. This is great. This is actually a Bonbon Island. Not only not only is it Bonbon Island, but we've got a castle in place as well. I I win. I win all round. Nobody's going to be disturbing me on this island. We have got uh, the jetty for me to uh, tie my little uh, rubber dinghy up on. I'm liking this. This this is cool. The entrance 
to the castle. You have to squeeze through here. And then, yeah, I mean, basically, completely defendable. Nobody's going to attack this castle. Uh, I don't know why it's in ruins, but nobody would attack it. And although it's just a small, ordinary, boring little castle, and it is small, ordinary, and boring, everything about it is right. Like, we've got no walls going through the uh, towers. And where are those doors in the towers? They're on the inside of the castle. So it's small, ordinary, and boring, and it's absolutely perfect. I love it. Uh, crematorium, what's the camp crematorium? Cemetery on the bottom. Yeah, we'll just ignore that one. Not very interesting. But yes, Bonbon Island, very happy with that. A uh, little uh, water source coming down off of the mountains there. And that's fine. Not really too much to say about that. Uh, we've got another one over here. We come up this uh, uh, switchback road. Not as exciting as the switchback roads we saw the other day, but it's perfectly fine. Nothing to complain about. And that heads up to the castle up here again. Just a plop little castle with a little uh, picnic area. Little picnic area. Nice. And, uh, oh, uh, something's on fire. <laughs> Call the fire brigade. And then uh, we've got a viewing point, and you get a good view across the entire city once it's fully developed, of course. That looked nice. And then over here, we've got a little hidden lake, and uh, there's a rock fall coming off the side of the hill into it, covering the, uh, covering the road. I'm not quite sure where all those rocks came from, but fantasy map, we're going to suspend a little bit of disbelief. But um, it's, it's not the most, it adds something to a dull corner of the map, that's fine. One thing that I don't feel adds something to the map is this quarry area. It's just a little bit too weird for my preferences. I mean, there's nothing massive, there's nothing wrong with it, you can't fault it. Look, it's a quarry. You can see it's a quarry, which means it's a quarry. We've also got some tunnels going in under here. If you have a look here, they look like they, it's yeah, like gold mining or something going on under here. Um, completely non-usable. It's 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 fine. It's okay. Do what you want with it. <laughs> Just it doesn't add anything for me. So there you go. Right, shall we turn our back on that and find somewhere a little bit less um, elephant in the room? Uh, okay, right. Um, what do you think anyway of this map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. And speaking of the viewer's choice, this Sunday is last month's top 10. Watch out for that one. Okay, so aesthetically, the map's pretty good. Um, it looks really nice. Uh, but uh, even ignoring the quarry, I think I can still give this one. It would get it would get a solid middly four stars from me. With the quarry, it's just a low four, but it's still four. Detailing across the holes, very nice indeed. Um, very little to grumble about. Again, I don't feel it falls into high four category, but it does just about squeeze into that four star area. There's nothing really to moan about. Four stars for detail. Gameplay potential. I'm not entirely feeling it but i can't see any reason not again to give it four stars it's it's not for me it's not for me but i think there's going to be a lot of people out there who would who would love this one you could build a huge huge build on here you could do various different attacks of it so i'm going to give that four stars for gameplay potential as well four four and four but the question is can i give it my seal of approval even though i don't feel it as a map let me think Oh, okay then. <laughs> yes, I can. I can give it the seal of approval. It's definitely a playable map, and everything about it is just right. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. And to all the bonbon bon buddies over on patreoncom forward slash B. you guys really do help me a huge amount. Uh, okay, right, so it's Friday, which means tonight we have got the 60-minute map fix. Watch out for that one. And, of course, on my second channel, we've got a little bit of Project Cars 2 racing as well. I'll uh, see you over there, too. Have a great day. I've been Bon Bon B, and you've been very, very welcome.